Hey guys, good morning. Boston, Massachusetts is checking in. How y'all doing? Oh guys, I had to get off the internet early only because you know what's happening with the Kobe Bryant and his daughter. It's just such a sad, 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 tragic case. Like everyone is all choked up, you know? And even I was choked up, you feel me? Like my condolences go out to that family. Like that was the biggest thing to rock us this year. Um, it's just amazing, guys. So, you know, I'm grateful and thankful. You never know when it will be your time. But I just pray in the name of Jesus that, you know, man, you live the vida loca, man. Life to the best of your ability. moving forward. You know? I, I hope his girl can handle this, his baby's mom, you know, because uh, I know it has to be tough. I hope that she is around the right people, you know. She just seems like she has a plethora of support anyways. Everybody from the NBA, they're going to be all right. They're going to be all right financially. You understand? Mentally, you know, it's up to that individual, you know, because, you know, you're still dealing with the realization that your loved one is gone. Even your daughter, it's like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I don't know what type of consoling can help her. But I do know that that is very tough. You know, I have a family relative who lost their spouse after being with them for like 26 years. And, you know, I was just looking at her picture when times and days were happier. And, you know, when her spouse died, it was like she died too. She dropped the ball, even though she had little children and a lot to live for. It was like nobody knows what she sees, you know, every day. Like, my family's kind of hard on her. And I could say some harsh things behind her, never to her. But at the same token, this is not the same woman that I knew uh, since we were little kids and since her spouse passed. This is not the same woman. So, you know, it's very tough on my sister. She, she, she sometimes say, Mommy, I'm just here. In her case, she remind me of, like, you know, Bobby Christina. Hi. You can help you? Yes, can I have a large hot coffee, extra cream and sugar, please? Thank you, huh? That's it. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So, you know, my sister is still like just going through it and I feel so bad for her uh, it's, it's something I wish I can do but when they go through this they shut everybody out and you know they only sometimes connect with the wrong people you know she definitely connects with her daughter her daughter is it's very Hi, nice I'm doing well sweetie her daughter is very nice and kind and she helps her out and, and that's what I love and respect about my niece I swear if I ever come up like to that point, my niece, I will look out for her. I will bless her. Okay, thank you, sweetie. I will bless her because how she is, she don't complain. And it's tough because she, she took on the responsibility and assumed responsibility that her mom should be doing. Thank you, sweetie. Right. You too. Um, that her mom should be doing. And she's so young, you know, talk about people who are like you know get a bum rap and you know that's my niece man but I thank God that she is here because probably if she was not here her mom would have probably killed herself and she's on that road of destruction right now I'm always praying for my sister because I know only Jesus can save her and God can help her you know and I pray too for the girls um 
Kobe's wife, you know? Because it's all the same. Hold on. You know? And I tell you something. I'm amazed, man. I pray for this young lady. I really, truly do. And that's a fact. I, I don't wish this on anybody. Like I said, I looked at my sister. You know, my sister had it going on, man. My sister, she had it going on. She had became a fluffy. She was living the vida loca. Always maintained her look and everything, and. You know, she got accustomed to not doing anything, being very spoiled, getting what she wants. She's very controlling. So this was something out of her control. And sometimes to me, it feels like she blames God. It sounds like she blames God. Like like her spouse just died. Like it was his fault. Like, you know, you know, it's just so sad to see somebody go through that state, go from one state to another. And you know who they are. You feel me? Well, guys, enough about my family. I know we're quite interesting. We're not a boring people, I tell you that much. But um, I just wish, you know, the clients well wishes for real, man. That's the truth. Okay, guys. Y'all have a good day. Boston, Massachusetts is checking out.